He loved to quote the line, William Miller who? Very few knew the upstate New Yorker that was tapped by Barry Goldwater to be his vice presidential running mate in 1964. But it was not a Republican year. It was a landslide for Johnson and Humphrey. Fame did not escape William Miller, although a New York politician, congressman, and vice presidential candidate, that did not do it. An American Express commercial capitalizing on his anonymity finally did the trick. William Miller, dead at the age of 69. Sid Burns, ABC News. Senator Barry Goldwater led the mourners at the funeral services today for William Miller, escorting Mrs. Miller into St. John the Baptist Church in Lockport, New York. Miller's coffin passed before an honor guard of Niagara County Sheriff's deputies. Though Goldwater and Miller lost in a landslide to Democrat Lyndon Johnson in 1964, in his eulogy, Goldwater said William Miller would be remembered for his contributions to his country. Miller's body will be buried at Arlington National Cemetery in Virginia on Tuesday. Ron DePaulis, ABC News. Among his other credits, William Miller was a first lieutenant in the U.S. Army, and today they laid his body to rest in Arlington Cemetery with full military honors. Besides his widow Stephanie and immediate family were some symbols of the Lockport native's political career, Kansas Senator Robert Dole and Senator Barry Goldwater, the man who projected Miller from relative obscurity to the Republican presidential ticket in 1964. It was a fitting ceremony for a man who had served his loved ones, state, and country so well. The grave site was selected for Miller in Arlington next to where another New Yorker, former Senator Ken Keating, is buried. After the rest had given their final farewells, one of Miller's three daughters lingered for a private goodbye to a good man and a good father. Bob Petrick, News 4, Washington. A prominent political figure from Western New York has lost his life. William Miller of Lockport, the 1964 Republican vice presidential candidate, died today at the age of 69. He will be buried at Arlington National Cemetery. Penny Daniels takes a look back at Mr. Miller's political career. He was one of the greatest men I ever knew, and I feel his loss very deeply. You are listening to Arizona Senator Barry Goldwater talking about the late William Miller. Miller was Goldwater's running mate during the 1964 presidential campaign. It was considered a good match by Republicans, the moderate to liberal northerner Miller and Goldwater, the southwestern conservative. 
But the ticket evidently didn't match the country's mood. Democrats Lyndon Johnson and Hubert Humphrey carried the day. Miller's political roots were planted right here in Niagara County. He was born and raised here in Lockport, was the county district attorney during the late 1940s, and then served as U.S. congressman from the area for 14 years. Jig Garlock, owner of Garlock's restaurant in Lockport, was one of Miller's closest friends. When Miller went on the campaign trail in 1964, Garlock went along. Anybody who said hello to him or talked to him, wanted to talk to him, they, they just never passed anybody up, never snubbed anybody. And with his credentials, I mean, he was, after all, a very important man. After the election, Miller returned to his law practice in Buffalo. But he's still remembered by politicians in the highest places. His wife, Stephanie, received flowers and a phone call today from President and Nancy Reagan. And Barry Goldwater is expected to give the eulogy at Miller's funeral. Nevertheless, Gallock says, even when Miller was most important, he was just one of the boys. He was just a regular guy. You loved him. Absolutely. And many, many other people, I could leave an awful lot of names in this town, who felt the same way as I did. God bless him. Penny Daniels, Channel 7 Eyewitness News in Lockport. Republican Senator Barry Goldwater will deliver the eulogy during the funeral of William Miller. The former vice presidential candidate will be laid to rest following services Monday morning at St. John's Catholic Church in Lockport. Miller was Goldwater's running mate in the 1964 election when they lost in a landslide to Lyndon Johnson and Hubert Humphrey. Miller died Friday at the age of 69 at Millard Fillmore Hospital in Buffalo. Miller, a Lockport native, was a seven-term congressman. He retired from politics and returned to his law practice after the 1964 election. In Lockport today, funeral services were held for former vice presidential candidate William Miller. Hundreds of people crowded into a church, including Senator Barry Goldwater, who delivered a eulogy to his former friend and running mate. John Bowman reports. <laughs> Sixty-nine-year-old William Miller of Lockport is to be buried in Arlington National Cemetery tomorrow. Today, his hometown said goodbye. A massive resurrection was held at St. John's Church. Miller, who served in the military and in the political arena, was eulogized as a man who served his family, party, and country well. The oldest of the Miller children, Libby, then told all that their father was the son the children revolved around. We will go on with our lives, and in whatever we do, we will be ever striving to make him as proud of us as we are of him. His friend of 35 years took his turn at remembering Bill. He made every one of us better, and he made of his country a better place to live. Goldwater then read from a letter from the house Miller missed seen from the inside. Dear Stephanie, Nancy and I were deeply saddened to learn of Bill's death. We pray that God will bless you and warm memories sustain and console you and your family now and the days ahead. Sincerely, Ronald Reagan. Bill Miller will best be remembered as a vice presidential candidate in the 64 elections. But here in Lockport, he will be remembered as a good father and a great neighbor. John Bowman, Channel 7 Eyewitness News, Lockport. He was known as Mr. Republican here in Western New York, and for one brief shining moment, he stood a chance of becoming the Vice President of the United States of America. But tonight, Lockport's William Miller is dead at the age of 69. Miller reached the pinnacle of his political career as he stood hand-in-hand -hand with Senator Barry Goldwater on a warm summer's night in 1964 at the Cow Palace in San Francisco, the vice presidential nominee of his party. Up until that moment, Miller had served the congressional district encompassing Niagara County and Northern Erie County for 14 years. He held powerful positions in the House of Representatives, including the chairmanship of the Republican National Committee. Miller stepped out of relative obscurity into the national limelight, but never lost the small-town qualities which endeared him to political allies and adversaries alike. Bill lived his life the way I think all people should live their lives, with the idea to serve 
his fellow man, fellow woman, and I think he did an admirable job of it, not only in the field of politics, the friend of the field of friendship, religion, but just living as uh, I think he should. He was one of the greatest men I ever knew, and I feel his loss very deeply. Because he was not widely known nationally, except for his vice presidential nomination, Miller became something of a curiosity, appearing in television ads for American Express, asking the question... You know me. I ran for vice president of the United States in 64, so I shouldn't have trouble charging a meal, should I? Well, I do. That's why I carry an American Express card. Miller stayed on as a lawyer here in western New York until his death today. Miller was hospitalized in Millard Fillmore Hospital two weeks ago to undergo tests, but last weekend he suffered a stroke. He passed away this morning at 3.45 a.m. A massive Christian burial will be set on Monday, June 27th at St. John's Church in Lockport at 10.30 in the morning. Burial will be held Tuesday in Washington's Arlington National Cemetery. It was a moving tribute today for one of our own, Lockport native William Miller, who was this country's Republican vice presidential candidate in 1964. Mr. Miller died on Friday. His longtime friend, Barry Goldwater, was here to deliver the eulogy. Marie Rice reports. Mrs. William Miller arrived today on the arm of the man who had chosen her husband as his vice presidential running mate, Arizona Senator Barry Goldwater. A row of sheriff's deputies stood at attention as Miller's coffin entered St. John the Baptist Church in Lockport, Miller's birthplace. Miller's grandchildren, son, and three daughters all participated today. Libby said as the senior member, she was chosen for the family eulogy. We cannot imagine a world without Dad. We will go on with our lives, and in whatever we do, we will be ever striving to make him as proud of us as we are of him. Then Senator Goldwater remembered his longtime friend of 35 years, saying it was not the easiest task the word eulogy, he said, should be used with real purpose and understanding. Man is born to serve. It's the only reason we're here. Did he serve well? Yes, he served well. He served with love and devotion. Then Goldwater read these words from a letter to Mrs. Miller he had hand-carried from the president. We pray that God will bless you and warm memories sustain and console you and your family now and the days ahead. Sincerely, Ronald Reagan. Goldwater left the podium in tears. Rice News 4, Lockport. The body of William Miller of Lockport was laid to rest today at Arlington National Cemetery. Bob Petrick reports from Washington. Among his other credits, William Miller was a first lieutenant in the U.S. Army, and today they laid his body to rest in Arlington Cemetery with full military honors. Besides his widow Stephanie and immediate family were some symbols of the Lockport native's political career, Kansas Senator Robert Dole and Senator Barry Goldwater, the man who projected Miller from relative obscurity to the Republican presidential ticket in 1964. It was a fitting ceremony for a man who had served his loved ones, state, and country so well.
The grave site was selected for Miller in Arlington next to where another New Yorker, former Senator Ken Keating, is buried. After the rest had given their final farewells, one of Miller's three daughters lingered for a private goodbye to a good man and a good father. Bob Petrick, News 4, Washington. There is an appointed time for everything, and a time for every affair under the heavens, a time to be born and a time to die. A handful of politicians joined several hundred of William Miller's family and friends. They paid their last respects at St. John the Baptist Church in Lockport. Miller died early Friday, the result of a stroke. Bill Miller was a lawyer, one-time chairman of the Republican National Committee, and a congressman from Western New York for 14 years. In 1964, Miller was nominated to run for vice president on the GOP line with Barry Goldwater. The ticket went down to defeat in the election in what's become known as the Johnson landslide. Man is born to serve. It's the only reason we're here. It was Goldwater who was called upon to deliver the eulogy. He described Bill Miller as a man who served his family and his country with love and devotion. Then Goldwater read a letter from the President of the United States. During the 1964 campaign, Bill Miller gained the respect and gratitude of all Americans for his capable articulation of the principles of our party. All of us who have come after him are his beneficiaries, and we will remember his contribution for a long time to come. Sincerely, Ronald Reagan. I can't think of any more that I can say about my friend. William Miller's body is now on its way to the Washington, D.C. area. He'll be buried tomorrow at the Arlington National Cemetery in Virginia. Dick Lusinski, New Center 2, in Lockport.